man, because I I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, I guess that play worked. Who else we got, though? We can do a Smasher Pass Disney edition. That's what's like, uh... Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream today. I'm excited that you guys could make it out, whoever has made it out. Uh, we're continuing playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. Are we in the middle of a boss fight? <laughs> I loaded up the game, and uh, I vaguely remember something about a boss fight, so I didn't want to go any farther. I, I literally just loaded up, hit pause. Let's unpause, and yes, we are. We're fighting Kasaka and a Harrier. Okay, um, well, there's the Harrier. Do we have, like, a rocket launcher or anything? Uh, we have an M4... AK, sniper rifle, grenades. Okay, we got a grenade launcher. I'm assuming that's what we're supposed to use for that. Oh, never mind. That's not the Harrier. That's just a regular helicopter. That is a ration. Ah, and a stinger. Okay. Uh, okay. Ration helps. Stinger. Uh. Ow. <laughs> I mean... Look, it worked. It kind of hurt both of us. Use this. Are we not locking on? Are we locked on? I think we are locked on. Yes, that worked. Okay, good, good, good. Um, also, he just threw something else down. More rations? Dude, thank you. Is there a way for us to, like, dodge the bullets? Is that the stinger? Wait. We're on your side, remember? Oh. <laughs> I'm shooting the wrong damn one. My bad. <laughs> Where'd it go? Okay. I was thinking, I was like, this seems way too easy. Why are uh, hi. Why was he just chilling over top of us like that? That was weird. Okay, that's our buddy. So he's Nope, that's our buddy. Please hit. Uh, he's still shooting me. That's fine. You know what? We might be able to just out-tank him. Honestly. Please go to hell. Oh, God. I take it back. We might, <laughs> we might not be able to out-tank him. Uh... Okay, not bad, not bad. Can you like shoot it up and then? Yes, I'm surprised that worked. Okay, but we're not... oh, okay, we're hit. Get up, get up and hide. Can he like shoot all the explosives that are all over the place here? Cause that would end poorly for us, I imagine. I hear beeping. Where? No, that's the hell. No, that's the Harrier. Okay. Come on, who's faster? Apparently he is. Wait, is he shooting up flares? Uh. Oh, that's bad. You're tougher than I thought. Okay. <laughs> oh, is this like a little hidey hole for us? Oh, maybe we'll be safe down here. Oh no, we're not safe down here. I lied. I thought with all the cover over us, we'd be okay, but no. I was most definitely wrong. It'd be nice if we could see a little bit. Uh, that's a lot of missiles, my guy. That's, that's, that's a lot. Can I even get to that ration still? I can't. I will take that gladly and shoot. And shoot. And shoot. Okay, uh, two of them hit at least. Maybe don't shoot Snake again. Snake, can you get out of the way? No, but like seriously. You can take the hit. Oh. There he is. He's coming this way, right? Oh, where'd he go? 
Oh shit, he's right in front of us. Uh, hit him, please. <laughs> Again. I'm assuming there's no like non-lethal way to take him out. Is he behind here? Wait, is he? I'll let you go out in style. Oh my god. Uh. Come on, come on, game. Is that it? I think we're good. I think we're good. They gave us such a, a lifeline there, throwing down all of those rations the way they did. Without that, we would have definitely been screwed. But that that helped a ton, honestly. Get fucked. There's something coming up. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Wait, we don't have to fight this thing too, right? Can we just, can we just run the hell away? good for us like at all come on you can do pull-ups I've watched you do pull-ups you're fine What does that mean? Who has his eye? Fab, go! Ha! I'm confused. There we go. Now we're getting up there. Uh, Vamp might make it here first. Is he running on water? Excuse me? Hey, what's that? <laughs> it's running on Fuck. water. Oh my god. I wish Chocobo were here right now. He'd be saying something about this not being anime. <laughs> Raiden, you all right? Yeah. How about you guys? Barely managed, but we're all right. The chopper? We need some time for repairs. Oh. The president's all yours. Okay. Can I ask you something? What? Are you the snake? <sighs> They said you were dead. No, not me. There are still too many things I need to do. Snake, you're a legend, and that's why I need to ask you this. Legend? A legend is nothing but fiction. Someone tells it, someone else remembers. Everybody passes it on. I'm here because I was assigned to this mission, not because I want to. If I could, I'd be out of here in a second. How could you come back to all this? Why keep fighting? There's something my best friend said to me once. What? We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing I was good at, but at least I always fought for what I believed in. What about, what about the DNA results from that body? That was Liquid's body. He and Snake are identical on the genetic level. Liquid? A deception for our own protection. We stole his frozen body from some organization. Kind of a hassle, though. That's all there is to it. Are you two really yep. an NGO? 
Insofar as we're a non-profit organization of civilians advocating a cause, yes. The cause happens to be the eradication of Metal Gear. We work on our own, but it's a cause worth fighting for. Why would you stick your neck out for something this risky? That's the way I used to look at it, four years ago. I was holed up in the middle of nowhere in Alaska, drinking too much. We have a responsibility to the coming generations, to the world. What responsibility? To keep track of the mistakes we've made as a species. We need to remember, to spread the word, to fight for change. And that's what keeps me alive. You think you can change the future? Nah, I'm not as arrogant as that. What you do isn't grassroots activism. It's more like terrorism. I admit that. But our group, Philanthropy, received some information. A new Metal Gear prototype was being developed here, and terrorists were planning to raid the facility. The information came from a very reliable source. So you're here to... We're here to stop all that. But I also have a personal motive. Looks like the terrorists have his sister in the big shell. We're here on our own, not under anyone's orders. We have our own battles. Otacon's here for someone. I'm not. This is a military mission. Jack, are you all right? Just barely. You almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, it wasn't intentional. I know that, and I know I need to stay stronger. Say a prayer for me, Rose, so I can come back. You will make it back. I'm with you all the way, remember? That means a lot to me, you know. I'm going to save the data, okay, Jack? Yes, definitely okay. Save away, my guy. Overwrite that bitch. Thank you, thank you. Colonel, Metal Gear's already gone active. It's not too late. You can still prevent a nuclear strike by securing the president and preventing password confirmation from taking place. Get to the president. He's in the core section of Shell 2. I'm checking the satellite images. Looks like you can get to the core from the other side of Strut L. The core hasn't Strut gone L under yet from what two. we can tell. Okay. Follow the railings down, then jump onto the pipes. The only viable strut in the outer perimeter is the L. That attack just now doesn't make any sense. It's like they have no more use for this place. Colonel, you were monitoring the codec calls. That man was the real snake all along. Maybe. Maybe? Don't let your guard down with him. Why do you say that? Because they were never a part of the simulation. They're an unknown factor. You can take your simulation and... We're out here, we bleed, we die. Calm down. I suggest that you do, Raiden. Even if that is Snake, that has no bearing on your mission. Colonel, you and Snake used to be on the same side. I don't understand. I read about you and Snake in In the Darkness of Shadow Moses. I don't give a damn what that piece of trash said. Do you get me? Okay. <laughs> Colonel be angry, man. So, strut L down to our death. Apparently. <laughs> no, this isn't happening. Jack, you have to answer off, me. Man. Jack! Okay. Jack! That's fine, I guess. I was not what I was trying to do. Uh, I was just trying to take a look around real quick. There's some food over here. What's ringing? Is that our Kodak? No? Oh, what? Thermal goggle. Is there. What? What is ringing? Phone. Oh, for the emails. I forgot we even had this thing. Use the coolant spray to put out fire. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I never thought of that. Coolant. Fire. Boom. Hey. That's smart. And it gives this thing a little bit more use than just, you know, destroying the bombs. Is this going to fall? Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. I'm going to try again. I want that ration. I wonder if we, uh, if we, if we do it quickly enough. Or it's either going to be we have to do it super quick or we just have to be careful with it. Like, walk gently. 
I don't know which one. I guess let's just walk out onto it gently and see if it if it moves. Good thing this coolant never seems to run out. Okay, yeah, I know. I think that's a bust. Okay, so... We can go here. We can crawl out where we just were, basically. And then use the pipes. God, I hope I don't misjudge this fall. That looks too far. Right here? I mean, this looks good. Oh, buddy. Okay. Um... Any point in going back that way? There is a ration. I feel like we can fall right off this pipe, though. And you know what? Use first person mode to get turned around. There we go. Gently now. We Gucci. We got this. No problem, my guy. Climb on up and... This... Can we go up that way? I guess not. I was hoping to grab that stuff. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> just, just keep running. It's fine. And then... Fall down here as well. I need the map. Are we... Oh, never mind. This is not the Hi. Sight. Friends. Um, and check the situation. I'm sure you're not here to, like, murder me or anything, right? Where are you guys? Up there? Let's get the SOCOM out. No, the M9, right? Yeah, tranquilizer. Uh, how did that not take you out? That was clearly aiming at your head. There we go. They're both down. Good, good. And... Bruh. For real? <laughs> no, Where are the safety railings happening. on this Jack, thing? you have to answer me. <laughs> Jack! Yeah, Jack! yeah, yeah. Jack's dead. Get over it. And we're all the way back up here. Okay. I'm gonna try this again, man. How many? We, yeah, we can we can carry two rations. Get this fire out. Thank God this bottle of coolant is infinite for some reason. And now, can we just like walk gently the whole way down here? No. So it is time based. Right, come in. Now shut right. up, Colonel. Right. Hope you guys like the death screen. You're gonna be seeing a lot of it. <laughs> Apparently, I'm uncoordinated as all hell. Alright, climb onto this again. Back over here. I'm going to ignore that one because I'm probably just going to die if I keep trying to grab it. I just noticed all the bird poop on the pipe, too. If I remember correctly, we can actually, like, slip on the bird shit. We'll definitely want to be careful over there. We got this. Thank God this pipe that's completely unsupported by anything. Oh, no! It's okay. What the hell Deep happened? breaths. Everything's fine. Right. Right in. Son of a bitch. I wasn't trying to run. I must have tipped the joystick just a tiny bit too far. Uh, okay. <laughs> Again. <laughs> There's only one way forward, man. We gotta do it again. Onto the pipe. Get the ration. Walk slowly. Be patient. <laughs> Got the ration. Turn around. Nice and easy-like. And walk slowly. There we go. Still can't climb up this? Nope. 
Run over this section. And jump. People coming out. We can take them out easily enough. This is not a pretty sight. You're not a pretty sight. Hurry up and check the situation. Is he down? I think we got him. Yep. Okay, try not to fall off this time. How do we do the... Okay. There we go. And railing? Cross. See, I know what I'm doing sometimes. Only sometimes, though. I'm waiting for, like, one of these birds to come down and peck me or something. Knocking me off the railing. Shrut L perimeter. That should be a checkpoint. Thank God. <laughs> Hopefully we never have to do that section again. Can I go in the window here? Oh, there's a floor in here. Ow. Ow. I say again. Ow. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> there are. Okay. Oh, good. There's drones, too. Uh. So calm. Get out of here. We should be fine now. And then slide up against the wall. Can we crouch and slide against the wall? Yes. Yeah, it's game. I know this is scary. You don't need to, like, show me <laughs> my death. Okay, up. Okay. I don't see anyone or anything. There is a flashing light over there, though. What's that all about? We have the scope. Guess we could use that. How do we zoom in? R1, uh, uh, da, da, da. one of these buttons. There we go. I'm sure that flashing light is something, but I don't know what, so we're just going to ignore it. Hey, what's up, Nate? Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. Okay, there's a drone. We can take that out. Maybe. God, these snipers suck without the uh, the benzos. Let's go ahead and take one, because there's a fair few over here. There it is. Take that. Pull this back out. Get fucked. Snipe better. What do you mean? I'm hitting every shot, my guy. <laughs> I'm sniping perfect, thank you. I just had to take some drugs first. You know how it is. Yeah, I think that's everything. And I'm assuming... We're just continuing down. Oh, that was a little bit scary. It wasn't showing us the angle there. The, the right angle just to make sure we were actually like gonna land on something and before more things fall out from under us no another free ration why do they just store food randomly outside like this i mean i'm glad for my sake that they do but it's it's awfully odd okay strut l k2 so wait we need to go there right we have a shell too that we need to go to. You're still at work? How was it today, man? With uh, Black Friday and all that BS. Was it super busy out there or relatively tame day? We don't have clearance to go in that one, I guess. Which is fine. I don't think that's the way we need to go anyways. I'm 
pretty sure we're wanting to go here. Does it show on our map? No, but I'm, I'm fairly certain it's the Shell 2 core that we're heading to. This looks like death. Yep. Called that. <laughs> right, what's wrong? Uh, right. Raiden's right. dead, man. What do you mean, what's wrong? Can't you see my vitals and shit? Isn't that a thing? Other than like a 20 minute busy period, it's just been dead. Uh, I'm not super surprised, man. Honestly. A little bit, but not a ton. Oh, God. We're fine. I was worried for a moment that we wouldn't be able to crawl fast enough to get around those things falling, but we're fine. Okay, now wasn't there a thing over here somewhere? Or did that drone just come in last time because we were caught? I guess it just came in because we were caught. Just keep crawling. Just keep crawling. Tell you one thing. I'm not looking forward to going back to work tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even expect it to be like a super busy day or anything. I just don't want to go. Oh, I got a couple cool things today. I spent way more money than I had hoped, which, honestly, really bad time to do so. Um, for those that don't know, I just got a car. But, uh... I'm going to go in my pants. Uh, this didn't happen last time. Gross? Excuse me, bro? Is there any way for me to, like, stop this? <laughs> Hello? Uh, I'd appreciate if you didn't piss on my path, dude. Um, but hey, while, while this guy is doing his business, I guess, yeah, no. I, uh, stopped at the game store today, the local, uh retro game store picked up a handful of ps2 games nothing exciting just some stuff that was relatively cheap so we had more stuff in the uh, in the collection and uh i just on a whim asked if they had a game boy player for the gamecube and they did sure enough it was it's an untested one but they had one so uh, i had to pick it up and since it was untested he gave me a decent price on it and i i haven't gotten around to, to trying it yet to make sure that it works i'm sure it does if not uh they, they do returns and stuff down there, so shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been wanting a Game Boy player for a long time. Just a, just a way to play Game Boy games on the TV in general. And this allows me to do that, so that's pretty cool. Eventually, what I, what I really want to do is get the Analog Pocket with its dock. Uh, it's not official hardware, obviously, but it's still really... It's really good emulation for for the Game Boy and a uh, handful of other consoles, and it's all FPGA based emulation, which is which is neat. Oh god! Ow! Which one's shooting us? Oh, maybe this one right in front of us. Hi there, guy. Okay. I knew there was one somewhere around here. <laughs> I don't know where it was hiding. Oh, wait, we're on alert, so more of them are probably going to show up. Um, okay, maybe if we pull out the M9, because I can't see shit with that zoomed in the way it is. Or the SOCOM, rather. Maybe there aren't any more coming. Maybe we're okay. See, I was over here being worried about the guy taking a piss up top. I should have been worried about the, uh, the drones, apparently. Hey, Noodle. Welcome. Glad you can make it, love. How's work going for you so far today? I hope it's, uh, not too bad. Now, what did we die on last time? Oh, uh, when we tried to do a somersault up here. <laughs> We somersaulted ourselves right off the fucking bridge. That's what happened. GG us. Um, I mean, I think we have to, though, right? Because we can't... Yeah, we can't go over the... 
edge on this one. That was close. Why do we somersault in such like a weird pattern? Okay, this one we can shimmy our way across on. This one's fine. Just don't press X. Triangle. Okay. I started moving the wrong way there for a second. That was scary, but we're fine. And in we go. Checkpoint two. Let's go. Uh, Finish the milk truck. He kicked out a dude All who was right. trending to not be who you knew he was. <laughs> what the hell, man? My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. Personal feelings. Then screw your plan. Wait, I've is been she waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom of the earth next to my old man. High voltage currents on. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. We start living for ourselves. I've seen if there's any hidden people taking a dump again or something. The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. Colonel, I'm, I'm in assuming. front of the room where yep. they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Any suggestions? Why? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Oh, and target God. the circuit panel. Got through it. the duct? Right. But make sure I'm you so don't screwed. hit the president. <laughs> the president is wired with nano machines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. Okay. Remote control missile launcher, and then find the node and log into that. Are there people around here, or are we safe? Are we free? Okay, that's Nikita Ammo. M9. What was this one? Up here. I'm guessing this is also Nikita. Oh no, so calm. Thanks, man. Um, some rations. We just gotten really lucky so far, or is there really? Hi. Uh, <laughs> this looks like a good time for some some chaff grenades, man. We don't have that many of, surprisingly. Might as well carry some rations, too. There we go. What are you? Nikita ammo. Well, that's not helpful. Okay, the store's broke. More chaff grenades. Very nice, I guess. Next room. M4 bullets. Well, here's the node. Might as well go ahead and do it. I know he said to get the... Uh, Nikita first, but I mean, I don't know where the Nikita is. But I know where the node is. Let's do that. Uh, can we buy a drink while we're here? No? Okay, well, I tried. It does look like it's empty here. 
Oh, that's, that was a door. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a door. You know those slots don't work, my guy. Okay, we can't use the elevator. And four is full. Is it just me or is there a little hole in the map here? Mm, must just be the map. I don't see... I was thinking maybe there was like some sort of hidden something or other, but it doesn't look like it. All right, other way then. So there's fuck all over here. Don't go in there. That place is scary. They got turrets with guns. Trying to drink on the job. What else are you supposed to do, man? <laughs> Just trying to get a nice cold uh, beverage. Nothing illicit. This, I think that's exit, like out of here, out of here. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> okay. So wait, where? Where do we actually go? So this here takes us outside, right? Yeah, this is the connecting bridge. This is where we came in at. That's what I thought. So this is this is useless. Unless we have to leave the shell and come back. That's a possibility, I guess. Okay, over there is death. Is there a vent that we can get? Like, this one here is a vent. Can we get in it? No. I didn't know if maybe we could, like, climb up in it or something. That's Nikita ammo, but not the actual gun. Nothing here. What's... Is there anything, like, down there? Oh, son of a bitch. Is that gonna go off? It did, okay. Oh, that's another place we could shoot the Nikita. That's just empty boxes. This door is broken. Can't do shit there. They don't just have one hanging out here in the lounge? <laughs> That'd be very handy if they did. Don't see any like vents or anything we can crawl through. Now we might have to leave and come back. You tried the Mr. Beast chocolate chocolate bar? Was it good? I've been wanting to try it myself, but I haven't actually seen any of them yet. I got those uh, Mr. Beast cookies a while back, of course, and uh, they were actually really good. I, I liked them. They did have a bit of a weird texture. I imagine that's from them being gluten-free. But all things considered, they were still pretty good. And, uh, like, I would totally buy, buy them again. So, like, yeah. <laughs> the only way to the president is past this electrified floor. Use the remote-controlled missile to destroy the power source. That will cut off the high-voltage current to the floor. Locate a remote-controlled missile. Snake might know where to find them. He did sweep Shell 2 for C4s earlier. Okay. Talk to Snake. Understood. Snake, do you know where I can find some remote-controlled missiles? Remote-controlled missiles? I saw something on B1 in the core of Shell 2. But be careful. Contaminated seawater's broken out of the tanks thanks to that explosion. Most of B1 is probably flooded by now. Okay, how do I get down to B1, though? The elevator doesn't seem to be working. Unless... I messed it up. I messed it up. Okay. <laughs> I tried to use the elevator. Damn it, it didn't work. <laughs> they only use five ingredients? Yeah, that's one of the things I was reading about. Uh, just Mr. Beast's line of stuff in general. Is that he tries to... Uh, have it be like simple ingredients that that most people would be at least somewhat familiar with 
without too much extra fluff and processing and all that BS, which, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of people that try to do that sort of thing these days, so I wouldn't say that's necessarily special on its own, but still, still cool, you know? And then, of course, uh, the cookies, and I, I imagine everything else, Piz, is gluten-free, which is, which is good for people with, like, celiac disease or just sensitivity or whatever. I thankfully do not suffer from those problems, but... Why is this glowing blue? It looks kind of like the bomb thing, doesn't it? There's no bombs in here we need to worry about, is there? I mean, we didn't even have the sensor loaded up, so... I'm guessing no. What does it mean, though, man? And what's with contaminated seawater? Like, contaminated with what? Call, push, select, okay. Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left analog stick. Up will take you up. Down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Gotcha, guy. Um, what's the punch button? Circle, okay. <laughs> Is there, like... Maybe... These are, like, areas where we can get air? Can I... Okay, there we go. Go up. Yeah, okay. So that's what the glowing blue shit is. Can we go first person view here? We can. Of course, we got our posters. Uh, <laughs> oh, this isn't Konami Eyes. This is FHM. Whatever the hell that is. So what he said is when drowning, you're slowly dying. Never knew that yet. <laughs> I'm glad they explained that to us, man, or we would be screwed right now. Cane sugar, organic chocolate liqueur, organic vanilla, organic cacao butter, and organic milk from grass-fed cows. Huh. Uh, that's a bomb. Okay, well. I now know what <laughs> the, uh... Oh, God. Uh, I need air. Is there air? Oh, okay, those are more bombs. Up, please. Thank you. Is there any way for us to... Can we apply bandages underwater? <laughs> we can. Good. Uh, hmm. I still don't know where we're going. Can we open this underwater? Seemingly. I don't like the cutscene. Or what's going on? Are we okay? <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's not fucking disturbing or anything. <laughs> Can we swim through all this junk? It looks like it. Okay, let's get another breath real quick. Try to. Should have brought your book light. The light in the break room has been shutting off. Wait, why is it shutting off? Do you mean just like, is it motion sensor based or something? It is really hard to see anything in this water, dude. I'm glad they gave us multiple breathing points. There's more stinger bullets. Uh, PSG one dash T. What is that? Uh, we can't check our weapon stock right now. 
Huh. Wait, can we not swim over this? We can. There we go. Are we going to get another messed up body? There's a flap from a box covering it. So you have to get up and move the flap and sit back down. Wait, couldn't you just like move the flap from the box so that when you move it, uh, it turns on? Is that not an option? Okay, we want to go... Actually, I don't know which way we want to go. Uh, we don't have that key card. It's not that way. And we came in through that door. Can we open this door? That's a solid no. Oh, wait. Maybe? No. Okay. So this, this was a waste. <laughs> gotcha. Back we go. I'm going to play it safe. We probably could have made it through here in time, but I'd rather not die and have to redo this whole section. There we go. We Gucci. We Gucci. I don't suppose you have a level four key card on you, do you? Didn't he have one? I feel like he might have mentioned having a uh, a key card on him at some point, but it doesn't seem like we can we can do anything with him. Okay, that one's that one's locked tight as well. I forgot about the bomb. <laughs> at least we're not bleeding to death this time. I think we checked this room over here. Oh shit, we're we're dying. No, excuse me. Game. This way. Oh god. Up. No, get get off the the thing, please. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Your manager has it there. She's particular about things. Couldn't you just like move it and then move it back when you leave? I don't I don't get it. Nothing in here. I'm so lost. Okay, wait. We've... Okay, we went through that area. Oh, God. Our oxygen's, like, down to nothing again. <laughs> okay. What if we just go straight down this hallway instead of turning? there anything down here? No. Okay. We can make it back to the other one and then take a breath. If we don't get stuck on the fucking ceiling again. <laughs> This way. This is the way we came. Uh, did we check out this side room right here? I don't think we did. Okay, it's a door that we can't seem to open. NVG? What is NVG? I really wish we could check, like, our, our stuff. But we can't. Okay, that's, that's up and out. Let's go down this hallway, maybe? I don't think we ever went this way. Oh, there's something. Is that it? Hey, the Nikita! Let's go. Okay. So that was, like, <laughs> right in the beginning. We went... 
basically everywhere except for where we needed to go. All we had to do was go straight, and we went every way but straight, apparently. <laughs> oh, well. That just means we got extra stuff, man. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. So what is the NVG and the PSG1 slash T? Tranquilizer version of the, uh, of the sniper. Very cool. I'm into that. And then NSG? Stun magazine? Where we can just throw these? I guess it's to, uh... Like, distract people or to get people to go a specific direction or something. And VG, night vision goggle. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Uh, take that off. Please take that off. <laughs> Holy shit, no. Back up we go. We got the thing. I'm going to guess we're going to have to shoot the thing in the, uh, in that room with the the turrets because that that's like the hardest you know that's the only room where there's any actual danger so i imagine that's the room we're gonna have to sit in <laughs> to, to to take it out if we look at the map a little bit better we might be able to to tell from there too but nah we're just gonna wing it You're done, and you're done. Now Nikita. We have way too many guns. Uh, how do we, how do we, shit. How do we, oh. How do we control it? Can, wait, oh, maybe we can only control it side to side, not up and down. That would make sense. There we go. Crouch. Uh, uncrouch. Uh, slow it down, please. What is it? Don't hit the president. Did we do it? That went so much better than when we tried to do that in Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> was that the only one that we needed to shoot or was there was there more? And I'm also curious, what's in these other ones? Anything? Watch us end up shooting the president now. Oh no, okay, they also come out over what is here. That? Get away. But yeah, I think I think we only had to hit it once. The other path was just like a little bit easier, I guess. Uh there appears to be a person over here. Let's get out our M9. Is this Olga? We're gonna have to tranquilize her again. Oh no, that was the president. Okay, okay, okay. Don't president shoot the president. Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you alright, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought.
However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocela, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. Wait, our brother was president during all resigned. that? <laughs> That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovich's outfit. Okay. From there, he bided his Leading time, to this. knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire big shell facility is the new Metal Gear. Oh, What'd you snap, say? bro. No, I'm quite <laughs> serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name. For the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-metal gears are guarding a metal gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces. Why would forces, you ever not do to that? Mention <laughs> our nuclear armament. That never short, ends well. Arsenal was created giving any single the thing absolute country. control over kind of such critical infrastructure. Weapon? No. No. You're not seeing the full picture. At least they call Arsenal it out. Arsenal gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks. But Solidus preferred rebellion. 
outer heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. If you would stop talking You've for a moment, Mr. Emma President, Emmerich. maybe I would. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this Breaks project. Over. According to Sorry, Ocelot, love. Hope she the rest was being of your day goes well. in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. Are you going to give us the key? I'm assuming that's where we need to go. <laughs> where we, we stopped before because we didn't have a It'll key. Give you there it is. All the yep. way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 Core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after Foxdy. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. House you for two dollars? That's that random as shit. <laughs> two dollar towels? Who wants their two dollar towels? Got your two dollar towels well, here. <laughs> I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Now, kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's her role! Pull! No! I'm not the one that pulled the trigger. Who did that? That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it? Got it. <laughs> the president! You got him, it's the best price you've seen. It is a cheap ass, uh, a good price. Like. Slipped. I'll see you around. If I Kill needed any boy. towels, I'd be all over that. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order. As your commander in chief, I'm counting on you. <sighs> so sad. <laughs> Never saw that coming. Okay. Finally got control again. Uh, so bad news. While that cutscene was going on, my stomach started turning, <laughs> and I uh, feel like I am about to make my chair into a mess, so I gotta go. <laughs> um, I, I think we're just gonna go ahead and call it here tonight. A bit of a short stream, especially since uh, we got started a bit late, and now I'm, I'm calling it a bit early, uh, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling so well all of a sudden. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here, guys. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me for like an hour and a half or whatever while we uh, while we played a little bit more Metal Gear. We made a little bit of progress, beat a boss, uh, didn't kill the president, but, you know, he kind of bleh in front of us. So, 
Eh, whatever. <laughs> Got a lot of story. All in all, I'd say it was a productive day. I'll be back tomorrow with some more PS2 stuff. Now, I need to update my schedule on Twitch, but Thursdays are PS2 stuff now, so we're going to be playing whatever tomorrow. Hopefully, I have time to get the new games that I got picked up uh, added to the list tonight. That way, uh, there's a chance for us to play some of them. But anyways, guys, have a good night, everyone, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Ash, dude, like in a theoretical way, like.